this time, Crystal Dunn and the Washington Spirit will be hosting an NWSL playoff match. Captain Allie Krieger and the Spirit will host a couple U.S. national team teammates in Kristen Press, Julie Johnston, and the Chicago Red Stars. The 2016 NWSL playoffs start now. Krieger has sent in some dangerous balls. This one driven center of the box. Johnston, as she so often does, gets to it first. That was a perfect ball in right on that six yard box, but Julie Johnson just patrols that area. Another great ball by Zadorski, and it's a goal! And Allie Krieger, the player on the opposite side of the ball, capable of getting ahead on it. Just as we were talking about Julie Johnston clearing it, Allie Krieger for the Washington Spirit, the player that can always get on the end of it. She's clearly a target on these corner kicks. If she's not taking the corner herself, she took that corner. It comes out the other side, and then she's able to get on the end of it. She stays active inside the box. The ball played back out. And look at this ball served in on that back post. Just a beautiful flick on by Allie Krieger, the captain giving her team the one nothing lead. Excellent service from the Canadian international, Shalina Zadorsky, who missed the last match against Chicago, dealing with an ankle injury, but gorgeous ball. And Krieger, the captain, giving her team the lead in the 36th minute. Short, looking for press, the one timer and we're tied! In the 81st minute, Kristen Press finally comes through for Chicago. The one-time volley. Look at this ball. They switch the fields. They get some width. They get some space. A nice left-footed ball served in. And somehow, Kristen Press finds herself unmarked and open. She just sneaks behind Shalina Zadorsky. One-time volley, upper corner and a great ball served in by Casey Short. No doubt, and you, you just got the feeling with Kristen Press. It was really only a matter of time for her because we said there were a couple of chances. You're used to seeing her finish off, and that, she took one touch, and it was a perfect touch. There is Crystal Dunn, oh. trying to find Stangle, who makes a great run and gets inside Casey Short. Had everything but the finish that time for Stengel. Cole and Frico can't get it past the referee. Naren charging with Stengel, who is onside. Plays it back to Naren. Has it if she wants it. Instead finds Mathis and now back to Naren. What a connection! The Spirit through Ortega have taken the lead. We just got done talking about the team concept of the Washington Spirit and this roster and the depth on this team. That was a beautiful team goal right there. The passing, the combination. Stangle gets this down the right flank. She finds Naren. She's got all day, but she takes a look. Look at this combination play. Nice little give and go for some reason. Nobody tracks Naren. And Ordega just slots this one home. This was just great passing. Great team play. Good team goal. Beautiful finish. And patience. Yeah, she just slipped through, didn't she, Naren, on that? And as you said, so unselfish. She had a look if she would have wanted it just outside the 18-yard box and decided she had other options, and Matheson picked her out. Ortega made the run on the far post, and now the Spirit back out in front. But how sweet would this one be to put the Spirit in their first-ever NWSL championship? And likely, well, maybe I shouldn't even say it. I'm not gonna say it. I don't wanna jinx anything. I was gonna say likely still undefeated when they lead at half, but. There you go. <laughs> now you can say it. The Washington Spirits celebrate a win on their home field that will send them to Houston for the NWSL final.